Hello friends, it's a lovely evening here in Lake Orion, Michigan. And tonight I decided to stop by Taco Bell and try their new volcano menu. And I, I remember when they had the volcano items before, but I really don't remember what it tasted like or how it was or if I liked it or not. I don't remember buying it often, so I probably didn't, but I thought we'd try it again and see if it's changed or if I like it now, maybe I will. They have the uh, volcano beef burrito and the volcano taco. Or you can get a combo where you get both, one taco, one burrito, as well as a new cool drink that they have. At least I think it's cool. It looks cool. The frozen Baja Blast. I've never had a frozen Mountain Dew product before, so I thought I'd give that a try too. And it also comes with a lava sauce already on the items, which is a, if you don't get the combo, is an extra dollar upcharge. And the total for the combo was $9 when you include the 51 cents for the great state of Michigan's treasury. So I'd be surprised if I go to Taco Bell more than once every six weeks. Get in the bag and see what's here. There's the taco. And here's the double beef burrito. I see the double beef burrito is really heavy. Let's see that first. That is quite heavy and substantial. And it has a little red tortilla st strips on it, too, to make it extra crunchy. Well, let's have a look inside. There we go. Very colorful. I see cheese, rice, ground beef. I can taste the crunchy tortilla strips. Well, let's get another bite of this. So far, I like it, and there's a little spiciness to it. I do like that. That is quite tasty. The volcano sauce is not overpowering. So far, all I've seen is the beef, rice beans, cheese, and lava sauce, which is probably it for this, or in a tortilla strip, so it's a nice amount of toppings in this, and very filling, very heavy, very filling. I give the uh, Volcano Burrito a definite thumbs up. Now let's have another look at the Baja Blast Freeze. I've never been a big fan of the Baja Blast flavor. I mean, it's okay, but I prefer the regular Mountain Dew, I guess. But, in the frozen form, I have to say, I like this quite a bit. I really think this is pretty good. I would get this again. That's very refreshing and cooling for a hot day. I, I like that a lot. Finally, the Volcano Taco. It has a very festive red hard corn shell on it, which is really kind of cool, actually. It's not a Supreme. There's no tomatoes, no sour cream on it. But there is a nice amount of ground beef, lettuce, of course, so it makes a big mess in your car, and finely shredded cheddar cheese, along with the volcano sauce, which you can kind of see down the bottom. And wow, that's really good, too. That taco's way spicier than the burrito. Just the right spiciness for me, though. Just a little bit of burn in my mouth. Just the way I like my spicy things. Very crispy and fresh. Nice, real taste, real nice taste to it. I'm impressed. I, I, I really do like this better than the burrito. But I'm very happy I gave the new Taco Bell Volcano menu a try. I like both of the items. I love the Mountain Dew Baja Blast Freeze. That was really, really good, too. So this is a really nice combo, a variety of things to fill you up and tickle your palate, so to speak. I know it's just Taco Bell, but... You know, sometimes you get a craving for it, and I, I would not hesitate to get this again, although if I do, I'll probably just get the tacos, but you never know. I appreciate everybody watching, and please leave a comment on the video, what you like at Taco Bell, or if you think you might try this item, and whether or not my microphone's working right. Can you hear me talking? Can anybody hear me? All right, well, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And bye for now.